Welcome to another episode of Window Film Matters, the home improvement you didn't know you needed. This podcast series is produced by the nonprofit International Window Film Association, the IWFA. And today we are joined by the IWFA's Executive Director, Daryl Smith. Today's episode is entitled, Why You Need Window Film No Matter Where You Live. Why don't you start by giving our listeners an overview on how window film is applicable for the home and for business owners, whether they live in the southernmost part of Florida or the snowy mountains of Colorado. Traditionally, I think most people think of window film as a sunbelt product used in the deep south or the southwestern parts of the country. Since those areas usually have high temperatures, lots of hot sun, they were the first areas where film was used in quantity since they could block up to 85% of the solar energy, the sun's heat, from coming through. However, window film provides many more benefits than just blocking the sun's heat. Film can be used for glare control, glare, glare reduction. A good example there would be a room on the end of a home, maybe a garage or a screened-in porch that's now been converted, lots of windows, and it could have so much heat and sun, bright sun, in the afternoon as to make it almost impossible to be able to sit and read a book or see the screen of your computer or your tablet. Without window film, you'd probably have to close the blinds or the shades and lose the view entirely just to be able to read or use that room for something else. You mentioned the solar energy passing through our windows and how window film can help combat that. But what about sunlight? I've noticed floors, pictures, and furniture all faded by the sun's rays. Can window film help block UV rays from entering our homes and offices? An all-quality window film, whether it's clear or in a dark color, can block 95 to 99% of all ultraviolet energy, called UV from passing through it. This means that your interior furnishings like your drapes, carpet, furniture, are all protected from the damaging effects of the UV, which is responsible for 40 to 60 percent of all fading. Now that same benefit, the blocking the UV, means that a person's skin and eyes are also protected from serious UV exposure. I know you've all seen sunglasses have a certain level of UV protection. Well, the window film already has it in it, even if it's clear. Now, regular windows only block about 25 to 50 percent of that UV. Now, some of the very newest, most expensive ones claim to block 50 to 75 percent. But even clear window film can give you 99 percent protection. And we all know that it only takes a small amount of the UV to be very damaging. Wow, the ability to protect your interior as well as your skin and eyes from damaging UV rays, that seems like a no-brainer. So we've talked about UV ray protection, which related to people across the country, and we've talked about solar heat, which relates to the warmer areas of America. What about our friends in Colorado? Can you tell us about any window films that can help keep heat inside? There are new window films which also block room heat from escaping your home or office during the winter months. And, you know, that way you reduce heating costs. So the result of all these qualities of modern window films is that whether you're looking for glare control, solar heat rejection, or room heat retention, or just UV protection, there are window films which can meet those needs no matter where you live. In Florida, on a bright and sunny and humid day, and it's always humid there, you likely will want both some glare control and savings on air conditioning costs and UV protection. But even on those cloudy days, you're also going to need UV protection since UV exposure is always there. The clouds do not stop UV penetration. That's why you go to the beach on a cloudy day and get sunburned. It's not a wind burn. It is from UV exposure. Now, in Denver, Colorado, a mile high, it may be a bright sunny day, but very cold. There you would still need film for glare reduction and UV protection. And you might even want to consider a film that had room heat retention. 
Today there are window films which can be selected just for your specific needs so you don't have to make a sacrifice in one area just to gain some benefit in another area. Well, there you have it. I think that's an excellent explanation as to why window film can be beneficial no matter where you live. That brings us to the end of our second episode of Window Film Matters, the home improvement you didn't know you needed. For more information on the benefits of window film or to find a professional installer near you, please visit www.iwfa.com and be sure to join us for our next episode in which we will cover the five basic types of window film products.